All right, I'm gonna do a test on this 50 amp hour, uh, 12 volt Power Queen battery. Remember how I said in my last video, I was gonna use my uh, EcoFlow and I was gonna double the power cheaper than I could if I actually bought the thing from EcoFlow. So that's what I'm gonna do with this battery. I'm gonna do an amp capacity test in this video. I'm gonna combine them two. I'll be able to put like 10 amps on this thing and go ahead and, and pull it all the way down and see what those results are gonna display that right on this capacity tester and we'll see what she gets and then when I'm done testing the battery I'm gonna show you how to connect it up to the EcoFlow to go ahead and basically double its power this is 640 watt hour supposedly and the uh, EcoFlow is 720 so you know not exactly but you know you'll have more than a kilowatt of power for emergencies that's portable so first off I'm gonna verify that this battery's topped off I'm gonna go ahead and hook the charger up so as you might be able to see, it's red right now. But once we get it back to full voltage, we'll go ahead and start this test. Charge fully in the green, we'll go ahead and check the voltage to see what it's at. All right, as you can see, with the charger disconnected, it's at 13 point, what, 13.7, something like that. All right, right now I'm pulling 10 amps out. You can see the watt hour meter going up and the amp hours. And we're gonna let it run till the battery BMS kicks out. And as you can see right here on the side, it should be 640 watt hours is what it's rated for. And if you haven't seen my little EcoFlow River Max Plus, I think here it is right here. It's like 720 watt hours. And we're gonna see if we can double capacity with that Power Queen battery. And of course, right when the battery was depleted on my camera and I changed the camera out, the battery died and we got 52.16 amp hours, 656 watt hours. All right, now we finished the capacity test. We charged the battery back some. Now I'm gonna show you how to hook it up to the EcoFlow, basically doubling your power. This is 720 watt hours. Basically you're gonna have this adapter that comes with your EcoFlow. You know, it's got like a XT connector right into the EcoFlow here. And basically this is made to go in a 12 volt adapter. Basically you're gonna plug in the cable that came with the EcoFlow River Max, you know. It's got your car adapter on here, your 12 volt adapter. And then you're gonna take an adapter, and I have all this linked up in the description below. Basically take a little alligator clip adapter that has a 12 volt adapter like that would come on your car. Go ahead and plug this up to the battery. Basically just take your 12 volt adapter, plug it in. As you can see your EcoFlow's turned on and the power's going in. As you see, you got 97 watts going in. You know, you got your input right over here on the top right. You got 96 watts, 97 watts going in. Battery's at 78% level on the EcoFlow. So you got two hours for it to charge. So basically, let's just say you got 100 watts going in. So if you're using maybe like a couple of those electric throw blankets I was talking about in my last video to, to stay warm, they use about 42 to 45 watts a piece. So you can actually keep up with how much is coming out, you know, with this battery input, you know, for so for your first 640 watts, bam, you'll be charging straight out of this battery, and then the rest will be able to come out of your EcoFlow. So if that's something you're interested in, basically being able to double your power, you know, even if you have 500 watts coming out of this, you know, temporarily or 200 watts coming out temporarily, you're still going to run a lot longer. You know, say you got 200 watts coming out and 100 going in, it's basically gonna take twice as long for your power to get down to zero as it normally would because you're gonna have that 100 going in so it's like it's only 100 coming out. And especially if you have something that's gonna stop and you know turn on and off, if you have a little 200 uh, watt personal heater or some kind of CPAP machine or something, I'm not exactly sure how much power they use, but if it's something that's kind of going on and off or staying on constant and it's only, you know, 70 or 80 watts, you know, you're gonna be good to go and you're gonna be able to run basically twice as long. And you gotta remember, you can do this with a beer unit, but you're still only gonna be able to get out so much power at a time to use these adapters because of the wire size and the maximum input on your, maximum input on your 12 volt adapter. But there's definitely other ways you could do it. I think it's something good for the smaller units to be able to double uh, your capacity. So I was able to get this EcoFlow here for about $350. This battery is about $179. You know, you can get these adapters here for like $10 maybe or something like that. So not a bad deal. 
I have all that stuff linked up down in the description below. And if you want to see a full capacity test for this whole setup, I might do that in the next video. Go ahead and show you how long a few things will run off of this. You know, if you had a couple of electric blankets and, or, or a fan or something like that and, and charge it maybe like a few phones, you know, some, if your power goes out, it's definitely something good to have. So you have a, the, the minimum uh, amount of power that you need, maybe to run a light and uh, charge your, your phones and your devices. And if it's really hot, maybe run a fan, electric blanket, so on. And if you got any questions about this setup, hey, go ahead and leave me some comments below. I'll try to answer any questions you have. And if you like this kind of video, hey, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and thanks for watching.